Welcome back to Tech Tutorial Expert. Your one and only platform for comprehensive setup guide and troubleshooting setup issue. If you're in trouble then come in our channel you find the great and informative videos. In this video we will discuss the TP-Link AC1200 extender setup. To set up your TP-Link AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender, you can use the WPS button for a quick setup, the Tether app for a mobile-friendly setup. So in this video we will learn how to set up TP-Link extender easily by using both these methods. Stay tuned the end of the video for hassle-free setup. Let's begin the TP-Link AC1200 setup using the Tether app. To set up your TP-Link AC1200 Wi-Fi extender using the Tether app, you will need the extender plugged into a power outlet, a smartphone or tablet, iOS or Android, and the TP-Link Tether app installed from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. First of all go to the App Store, iOS, or Google Play Store, Android, and download the TP-Link Tether app. Insert the TP-Link AC1200 range extender into a power outlet near your router. On your smartphone or tablet, go to the Wi-Fi settings and connect to the TP-Link extender network, e.g., TP-Link underscore extender. Open the Tether app and log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have one, create an account. The app will detect your extender. Tap on it to begin the setup. Follow the on-screen instructions to select your existing Wi-Fi network and enter the network password. Unplug the extender and place it in the desired location where you need better Wi-Fi coverage. Ensure it's within the range of your router's Wi-Fi signal. And lastly your TP-Link AC1200 extender setup is complete using the Tether app. Let's move on the next setup process that is WPS push button method. It is a straightforward and easy process. First of all insert the TP-Link AC1200 range extender into a power outlet close to your router. Make sure your extender and router are placed in the same room. Now press the WPS button on the TP-Link extender until the WPS LED light starts to blink. After that press the WPS button on your router. This button is usually labeled WPS and may be located on the back or side of the router. Wait until the WPS LED on the extender turns solid green, indicating a successful connection. If